Hey yo, hey everyone, Andrew here bringing you another video review and today we're going to be doing the new Teen Titans Terra of Trigon. Take a look at this cover right here. Trigon is back. If you have not been reading the new Teen Titans up to this point, you may not know who Trigon is. Trigon first appeared in the New Teen Titans Archives Volume 1, and Trigon is Raven's father. He is an extra-dimensional beast, uh, just an absolute demon beast. And listen, Trigon is so powerful, he has taken over his dimensions universe. It's not like Dark Side where he has a planet, no, he's taken over the universe. There's very few planets that Trigon doesn't rule. Trigon is probably one of the strongest DC beings, period. He is an absolute beast of power. And the Titans, with the help of Asagar, and with Raven's mother and Raven, were barely able to even stop Trigon. Trigon wasn't even trying. Uh, so, yeah, Trigon is a beast, and he is back. He has made his way, and he is now in Earth. So he just basically destroys everything. He takes over the Earth. Every hero has fallen. Superman, Wonder Woman, Batman, Green Lantern, Hell, Darkwing Duck is gone. Wait, that's Disney. Sorry. The fact of the matter remains is Trigon has taken over Earth. The souls are gone. The only people that are left are the Titans. And guess what? Raven has been turned evil by her father. So the Titans are in a tough pickle. This is a big, epic, apocalyptic battle for the Titans. And it's one of the best apocalyptic battles. This is, I consider this book the proof that the Titans are an A-list team. Because they defeat an enemy that no other DC Universe characters or team could defeat. And that was Trigon. This is a big badass. This was a big point in the DC Universe. Uh, not just the DC Universe, but for DC Comics, this was a big story. Because a lot of the shit that was going down beforehand led up to now. Um, and I consider this the pinnacle of the new Teen Titans book. It is just epic. And really, there's not much to talk about other than Trigon comes, Trigon sees, and Trigon conquers. Trigon takes over Earth. Everyone is royally fucked. It's up to the Titans to take it back. That's really all you need to know. So on to the good, the bad, and whether or not you should get it. Good. This is just an epic story. And I mean epic. Full out, balls to the wall, shit flying everywhere kind of story. And the Titans are over their heads, taking on the greatest enemy that they would ever know, and that would be Trigon. And Trigon, like I said, he is just ridiculous. Like, he could give Galactus a run for his money. Trigon is just up there in power. Uh, he could give Darkseid, like, a wedgie. That's how badass Trigon is. So, uh, at least, Trigon, he controls the fucking universe. I mean, really. So, Trigon is just ridiculously powerful. And you just gotta understand, this is just, like, doomsday, apocalyptic, epic battleness. I can't say it enough. Bad. None. This is a phenomenal story. And I think this is this is probably my favorite Teen Titans story arc. Although I like the archives better, because the archives have some of their more memorable, fun stories, as a story arc with Terra Incognito, the Judas Contract, who is Wonder Woman, this is definitely the best. Because this is just the Titans at their peak. I cannot recommend this enough. I do recommend picking up the archives volume 1 first. So you at least get a general idea of who Trigon is, and really what has been going down since, but this is just amazing. Great. This is George Perez, Marv Wolfman, doing what they do best, pulling out great, amazing stories with great art. Um, get it. Just get it. This is a great Titan story. I... I'm just going to have to end the review there, because the rest of the review is just me going, this is a great Titan story, this is a great Titan because it is a great Titan story. So with that said, I'm going to end the review here. This is Andrew saying, peace out for now.